Hi everyone, I am back again with another video and this time I have decided to take a little trip to UK actually to the Yorkshire coast and uh, yeah, I'm gonna find try and find some ammonites and uh, perhaps some reptile material some jet rock or uh, well mostly uh, nice ammonites I hope and uh, today I am at Raven's car and uh, this is a location uh, that you can find all kinds of stuff mostly ammonites as I said but uh, yeah let's give it a try it's uh, quite a, a walk to do but uh, yeah I had to uh, be down on the beach uh, for a few hours and then I'll have to keep look at the tide to get back before the tide gets in so uh, well let's uh, let's uh, take a look and see what we can find I'm heading down towards the beach right now and, uh, it's uh, quite a steep walk and uh, see the coastline here so this is the Yorkshire Jurassic coast what we're looking for are of course ammonites and stuff from the Jurassic era. Around 60, 180 million years ago. It's a beautiful coastline. Lots to uh, lots to explore. So uh, very happy to be here. It's been one of my dream fossil nerdy goals to do. So uh, yeah, let's take a look the other way. Well, I'm uh, getting to the, uh, the top of the cliff. I'm gonna try and find a way down. Yeah, the tide is on the way out, so uh, yeah, I hope this could be a uh, nice and productive day. So, uh, yeah. Keep on. That's the steep part. Well, this is Raven's car. And uh, yeah, I'm just standing on the top right now. I'm trying to find my way down. And at the very end here, there is a uh, seal colony. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them, them but they are moving around down there. So. Uh, we better take care and not scare these fellows. So I'll try to keep away from any seals I can I can see on the way. But it's still kind of kind of cool to see them. So uh, well, let's uh, let's keep on. So we are down at, on the beach now, and. Uh, yeah, I have a couple of hours to to explore this stretch of the beach, and uh, yeah, just got down and I directly spotted an ammonite lying here. It's a really sea-worn example, but uh, yeah, it's not worth keeping. It's trashed up, but it's a uh, I think it's a Hildoceros ammonite. Pretty nice size, anyway. So. Uh, if it uh, would have been a little bit more complete, I would definitely have kept this one, but, you know, I'll leave, the, I'll leave you for somebody else, and then I'll keep looking for, for some better stuff. So, let's go. Just found me a nice, nice nodule, fresh off the cliff, and I'm gonna give this a uh, smack and see if there is anything interesting inside, so uh, I'll... Uh, yeah, I'll try that now and uh, let's see what happens. See there is a lot of shale laying around here and there are some fresh fallouts on the uh, the cliff above so uh, I'm gonna look through the rubble and see if anything turns up. And, uh, yeah, and if, if you take a look at the shale slabs there is also lots of shells and uh, yeah, some tiny ammonites in there and uh, these are very poorly preserved and very squashed so uh, some of them are coated in pyrite 
is this yellowish, yellowy, goldy stuff that you can see here. And if, uh, of course, if I find a real nice example, I'll definitely keep keep a plate and uh, maybe put some glue to it to just stabilize it. But it's uh, still nice to see these slabs laying around. Found another nodule, and I was just splitting this one, and there is a uh, yeah, there is a Hildosaurus inside. At least I believe it's an Hildosaurus ammonite, and I don't know if there is a uh, center still preserved in this specimen. <laughs> However, I yeah, I think I'll. I'll keep hold of this uh, until, at least until I find a better example. It's still nice to find an ammonite. Happy days! So here's the part of the uh, seal colony. There is actually a seal and another one right to the, yeah, right by the cliff side. So. My plans of crossing here has been cancelled, <laughs> so I guess I'll just have to uh, go the other way and see if I can find another path uh, down and uh, to pass the seals. Uh, I got past the seals, found a, a narrow path around them. Now I'm on the yeah, I'm heading towards the uh, the other side of the this. Uh, beach. It's a uh, boulder field here with sandstone and I uh, found a uh, pretty nice uh, bellum night actually so uh, I'm gonna show you that right now. You can see it right. It's the, uh, down here in the middle of the frame <clears throat> and actually it's a uh, bellum night preserved in shale and there is also a very nice Fragma cone preserved along with it. It seems to be all intact, so uh, yeah, very happy with this find. It's a really nice bell knight. Bell knights were like squids, so uh, this is the, the part where the animal uh, was living, so to speak, and this is the inner shell. We have bell knights as home as well from the Cretaceous, but this is a uh, Jurassic Bellomite squid and uh, Yeah, it's quite cool to see the pirateized fragma cone as well and I'll uh, Get this in the bag for sure. So let's let's head on well I haven't found much ammonites uh, Just yet, but uh, I won't give up that easy just have to keep an eye on the tide so uh, Gonna keep on here for another hour and then probably start heading back. So uh, yeah, I just found a uh, pretty nice squashed ammonite, pirateized in shale slab. It's not possible to, uh, to take, but uh, it's still nice to see. Very beautiful. Yeah, found a couple of ammonites more. This is a uh, seems to be an uh, ammonite in this nodule. Just found it like this, so probably somebody smacked it or it's just smacked itself on the way down from the cliff. But it's it's a nice nodule and uh, yeah, I'm gonna put that one in the bag for sure. Seems to be a nice ammonite inside. Looks like to be a looks like to be a Dactylosaurus. There's another, I think, another Dac inside this one as well. So it goes around here on the edge. Some minor damage and. Uh, a little bit squashed it seems, but uh, yeah, seems all there, so happy days, I guess. Oh, these uh, cliffs are certainly not for uh, <laughs> those with bad legs or feet, I can tell you that. It's very, um, yeah, it's very heavy duty, fossil hunting on the uh, Yorkshire coast, for sure. So, um, yeah, it's been a good day so far, I'm uh, going to start heading back. I'm gonna try and avoid the seal colony again and um, and get back to uh, to my car and uh, it's been a lovely lovely day here on the Yorkshire coast and uh, I'd better be better start going back now before the tide starts turning so um, 
yeah if you're like me and not used to uh, to tides and stuff like that you have have to be uh, more safe than sorry I guess so uh, yeah let's head back I'm walking an uh, alternative route like I said to avoid the, uh, the seal colony and I'm uh, all in the in the bushes here <laughs> and I came across this strange thing mm, I wonder if this is some kind of uh, yeah some kind of cart you can see some some wheels looks like uh, maybe it has something to do with the uh, alum shale mining industry that was going on here some hundred years ago or so it's uh, pretty cool old industrial thingy yeah and uh, well I'm gonna head this way towards the bushes and follow the path and uh, hopefully it will get me to the top eventually so let's keep on that went pretty fast to go uh, back up the other way instead of along the beach so uh, I've decided to uh, stick around for a few uh, hours more because uh, the tide isn't coming in until yeah it's about two hours left so uh, I'll check out the other stretch of the beach here and I've just spotted spotted an ammonite hiding in the rocks can you see it it's right right there and I don't know yet if this one is a complete ammonite so yeah we should probably get it out and have a look well there is a keel sticking out there looks like uh, a duck probably and uh yeah there's nothing here so uh probably it's not complete but i'll give it a tap and see if i can reveal anything more perhaps there is a nice center to be kept so this is what it looks like there is a uh, there is an ammonite here for sure but uh yeah i'll keep hold to this one and uh yeah, I'll try and prep it and see what's what's left of it. Yeah, cool. I just uh, cracked another small nodule open and uh, got an ammonite here. I don't know if this is some kind of Elegantesaurus or something else. Um, maybe I'll have this one uh, looked at by people who know their stuff. Seems to be uh, pretty much a uh, complete ammonite inside this. Uh, maybe even there is a center down here. Seems to be a, a shell or something preserved on top of this ammonite, but it's uh, still a pretty nice ammonite, I believe. So happy days. And then I uh, also found this very, very small <laughs> ammonite inside here. I have no clue which species it is, this is, but uh, it's still a pretty cool find, I believe. So I'll keep hold of that one as well. <laughs> yeah, let's crack on. I found a... Uh, yeah, there was, there's a lot of uh, shaley blocks all around here. And uh, you can see uh, fossils everywhere, actually, but they are poorly preserved. For most part so uh but i i have spotted a, a very large bivalve or a brachiopod i think this is a bivalve shell and uh i don't know if if it's uh yeah is it likely to uh even to try and get out of this it's quite a soft rock but uh yeah i'll probably just trash it so uh I'll leave it here and uh, yeah I hope I find some uh, something like this again but that is more manageable so yeah keep let's keep on 
Well, on the way back I uh, found a couple of more nodules and I uh, decided to uh, take a look and split them right here and I managed to find an ammonite that looks to be yeah pretty nice indeed and this is a uh, yeah looks to be a Pernoceros maybe seems to have some spines there as well and uh, yeah looks to be a very complete and very nice ammonite indeed so uh, really really happy with this one and uh, yeah let me uh, Yeah, now you can see it a little better. And it's a uh, it's a real beauty and a very nice uh, ammonite to uh, end the uh, fossil hunting day today. So uh, yeah, happy days. My bag is pretty heavy, but I'm happy and I got some nice finds. And now I'm uh, just gonna have to climb all the way up to the top here and uh, to get back to the car so uh, well I'll uh, do a little wrap up later when, uh, when we can see all the all the finds let's start moving well it's been a nice day out and uh, didn't find uh, much more but uh, I have a few bits and bobs that I didn't film as well and uh, well, you can't complain in these uh, these surroundings. This uh, beautiful place indeed. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy so far with the day, and I'm gonna be here for the rest of the week as well. So there is there are more hunts to be done, and uh, yeah, see you on the next one.